I don't necessarily build robots, but I control them to do interesting things. Uh, typically, I try to have robots that learn from human, from human beings. How can you teach your robot to do the things that you want it to do? What you could see in the next 20 years is that you will start to have a plethora of robots around you. You know, the same way that we have computers all over the place, you'll have robots all over the place, and they're going to be what you use to get things done in the physical world. The question is, how do we program these robots? How can we make the robot do what we want to do in real time. You, we can do Landon or, or, or Lisa's team, whatever. I teach Computer Science 148, Building Intelligent Robots. But we, we basically are exploring different approaches to controlling robots in the guise of robot soccer. And so what the students are doing is they're writing programs so that they can figure out where are they on the field, which is called localization. And then once they figure out where they are on the field, control the robot, so plan a path so that they can get behind the ball and push it into their goal. Although that may sound easy, it's, it's a little bit more difficult than I make it out to be. But it's uh, it's a challenge and it's fun. I mean, that's the that's a good thing about Brown students. They're up for they're up for a challenge. If I lay something difficult out there, they're they're willing to give it a try and really put their their heart into it. The reason that I'm a computer scientist goes back to when I was seven years old, and my dad bought an Atari 2600 and brought it home, and I played Space Invaders for the first time. And I was like, wow, how did they do this? But I was never a great student. I'm much more of a, of a project-oriented person. And you know, if you take one of my classes, I never have an exam. I grade what you do in the lab. I grade what you can produce. I want to cultivate the passion to, to, to do something. Brown students are unique in that they have a large body of interests. They have a large, diverse collection of things that they're looking to do and things that they're, they're looking to explore. They're not just straight computer science students, typically. It creates for some interesting conversations and, and interesting perspectives, which makes the, the students a pleasure. Uh, you know, I think I always get, learn something new from the experience. One of the things that, I, that I'm trying to accomplish is to sort of lift the cover off of, of what we do here at Brown and other places that do robotics by sort of saying it's really inspiring to have a robot that you can that you control and move and see it actually doing something in reality. I think there are lots of things that we could be doing in a society that we can't do, and robots are a way to make that happen. There's something really impactful for society, I think, at, at, the, end, at, the, at the end of that road. And, you know, and that's the thing that, that keeps me going, that, that the work that I did, uh, the people who I worked with, the people who I mentored, and the people who, who I've been able to advise and collaborate with, collectively we did something that improved society for the better. I stand on the shoulders of giants, and I want to enable the next generation to stand on top of what, what I've done and build it and, and build something greater. Mm -hmm.